Sometimes yoga practices can bring out our shadow aspects. This is very normal in every spiritual process and yoga is no exception. Fundamentally, yoga is a spiritual practice and therefore when we have to engage in yogic practices in a deep way, it is possible that some of these shadow aspects that we have suppressed or repressed come out. The best way to deal with them is to face them. A spiritual process is not only seeking the light. It is seeking the light by dealing with the shadows as well. And when such shadows come, the first step is to acknowledge them and the second step is to deal with them. In order to deal with them, we need the guidance of a very competent teacher who is able to guide us through these challenging situations. That's why yoga always emphasizes on the role of a competent and available teacher. A teacher must be available to the student in this evolutionary process. That's why yoga is also emphasizing on one-to-one -one interaction between teacher and student. Every yoga tradition must offer one-to-one -one interactions with the students if they want to claim themselves as a spiritual tradition. In these one-to-one -one interactions, there must be the foundation of trust and care between both the teacher and the student, and most importantly, respect and honesty. So the student shares openly these shadow sides, and the teacher holds the student through this process and offers guidance in how the student can take steps in order to overcome these so that they can eventually find the light that shines in their hearts. That's why yoga is called an Anushasanam, a process where we learn through the grace and the guidance of a competent teacher who is acting like a mentor, not in a hierarchical way only, but more like a way where there is a mentorship where there can be an open and safe communication that can happen so that the appropriate guidance can be provided to help each student differently to come out of their challenges because no two students are the same, no two processes are the same. So even if the teacher is the same, with, with each student the path will have to be different. And that is why yoga was considered to be an individual practice where the student and the teacher met in confidence in one-to-one -one situation where these kind of processes had space and time. In today's context where more and more group classes are happening, it is very sad because this is taking away yoga from its spiritual roots. To help yoga come back to spiritual roots, all yoga teachers must start to offer one-to-one -one classes so that they can guide their students in the most appropriate manner and especially when these shadow aspects come. Shadow aspects can also come during group classes and it is also important why we need to have one-to-one -one mentorship even if students are taking group classes.